All right, we're in another module. This module is leverage. Let's talk about leverage. What is leverage? Leverage is and it's pretty much cooperation, using some, using other resources to help you achieve a goal, or other sources, somebody else's sources, OPM, uh, let's see, OPM, other people's money, uh, OPR, other people's resources, uh, OPS, other people's skills. In other words. Use other people or other resources to help you achieve a goal. Now, my mentor gave a great example today of leverage. Um, let's say my mentor had a a bad ankle; he couldn't run. But let's say that this is him, and let's say somebody challenged him to a race. But he tells the guy, "Oh man, I can beat you." He said. He said, I tell you what, my man, this was the guy, this guy here told this guy, he said, look, I got a bum knee, but I still can beat you. I can go two miles before you go one. This man here, great physical condition. I mean, great physical condition. He's you know, young athlete, football, basketball player. Ain't no way this old cripple, this old cripple dude gonna beat him. So he said, okay. So he's gonna go one mile. And I hope my mentor don't mind me stealing this because it is, I think it was a great example. But he's going to go one mile. So this guy here is going to go two. The old guy going to go two miles and get to the two mile mark before the young guy gets to the one mile mark. So the old man says, ain't worried about it. I got leverage. He's like, what you talking about? What's leverage? He said, you don't know what leverage is? He said, let me show you. So what he did, the old guy here, he hopped on the bike and he started riding. Young guy took out running. So, who do you think made it there first? Of course, the old man did because he, this is what you call leverage. That's all it is. Using resources to get you to a goal faster, quicker, and it's more efficient. So now we talk about leverage in business. Uh, remember, remember on the previous module, I told you that I was using leverage right now. I'm using leverage because my mentor cost me $20,000. He charges $2,000 an hour. Anybody that's in business today wants a mentor because they know how important mentors are now. That's why public speaking and mentors are making so much money because people realize that with a mentor, you can cut out a lot of the mistakes and the time wasted. The time wasted because you don't know what you're doing. So if you get a mentor to show you the path, it's worth it to a lot of people to spend that, in, to spend that money. Like, it's, it's worth it to me because I was spending my wheels, spending my wheels. I said, okay, look, I'm tired of spending my wheels. How much is it going to cost me? So I came out of my pocket. Best money I've ever spent. I still don't regret it. Matter of fact, if you ask for some more, I might give it to him. Matter of fact, I probably am because he's still paying a lot of money for his training because he has a mentor. Mentors are vital and important. So my mentor is my leverage. I didn't say leverage was always free, but he's my leverage because he's helping me expand my mind and to see that even that $2 billion I was talking about, it, it, it could be 10, I think $10 billion. The way, as fast as wealth is being made today, it's easy. I, I see it as easy. A lot of people say it's hard. I see it as easy. I see it as easy because I've trained myself to see it as easy. I've trained my mind. I've exercised this muscle to the point where anything is possible for me because we only use 7 to 10% of it anyway. What if I can do some exercises to tap into another 7% of it? Imagine what I can do. Imagine the type of wealth I can create if I get 15% more. So, but evidently, the human, uh, we as humans are not ready for that type of knowledge yet. That's why it's probably a lock on it. Something got to do with the penal, penal gland. That's what I've been hearing. You know, that's what I've been reading, but 
that's some mystic stuff, but we're talking, you know, that's, that's different. Uh, sometimes you can overread books, or then again, I may be on to something. But let's get back to the literature. We're going off, we're going off the reservation. But my mentor for me is leverage. And in any business, you want leverage. Uh, think about it. Uh, Shark Tank. Shark Tank is a great example of leverage. You have some people that come on Shark Tank with an excellent idea. But they realize that in order to get to the stage that they want to get to, they're going to need one of the sharks, whether it's their money, their expertise, or just their, their uh, celebrity status to get their product or whatever the invention they have to the next level. So that's a form of leverage. Leverage can come in many, many, many forms. So my le also another form of leverage for me is, and like I said, uh, I met a, a gentleman when I first got here to this city, he had ideals for things he wanted to do. They, I'm there, I, I'm, I know they're billion dollar ideas. So you know what I did? I told him, I told him, I said, I'm a graphic designer. He said, you need a graphic designer. I said, man, don't pay me nothing. Just make me part of the company because I see where he's going. So I leveraged my, my skills to become a partner with him. And he's about, and that billion I talked about, oh, he's well on the way. He's well on the way for, for a billion. You will hear about it. Like I say, because of non disclosure agreements, I can't talk about it. But you know, I understand. Because that's what his lawyer says. His his marketing attorney that wrote it up. Oh, yeah, it's that serious. But back to this. Now, that's a form of, I use leverage. I use my skill to become a partner in a billion dollar idea. Because I had the concepts here and I had the fortitude to say, look, this is how I want to approach this. I want in. What can I do? You got so many ideas, you just tell me your ideas, call me in the middle of the night, I get up and do them for you. I don't care. Don't pay me nothing. I just want to be part. A lot of people not willing to do that because I saw his, he had a vision and I saw his vision immediately and we clicked like that. And we've been partners ever since. So he's the new guy in my circle. Him and Myron. So there's two. I got three more. I mean him. So he's the new guy in my circle. Uh, him and my mentor. So I got three more to go. So, is there a bird in here? That was interesting. All right, leverage. So you want to use other people's money, other people's resources, other people, other people's time, OPT, other people's time. Because the most important thing to you should be, to you right now, is time. Now, time you can't get back. Money, you can lose that and get it back. But time, you can't. So you want to leverage other people's time. Now, I worked for a company for 28 years. In other words, so I was trading my time for dollars. We want to stop doing that. As my mentor say, get away from trading time for dollars. You want to, you want your time, you need to have people to pay you what you think your time is worth. My mentor charges $2,000 an hour. A lot of people would think that's outrageous. I think he should be paid more, but I'm not going to tell him that. That's just how valuable the information he gave me and how transformed I was when I met him. Because that's why corporations, why do you think corporations pay public speakers like Tony Robbins, uh, Eric Thomas? Uh, I mean, why do you think they pay these people top dollar to come in and speak to their employees? Because they know how effective words are and the, and the delivery of words are. They know this. So leverage is another great tool that you should utilize every day, all day. Every day, all day. You can use leverage to get, if you're not married, you can use leverage to get a beautiful woman. How do you leverage that? What you do is you leverage your mind. Women love intellect. If she's an intelligent woman. Even, even the hood rats like intelligent men. But you got to have a little intelligent and a little hood in you. You got to be adaptable. That's what my dating coach taught me. He said, you can't. Man, so I don't want to go there. I know some women are watching this, so, hey, ladies. So you got to make sure that you understand how powerful leverage is. See, women use leverage on us all the time. We just don't realize it. But once I got it with my, my dating coach, he showed me how much leverage they have on us because the way we think in our, in our mind process. But, uh, yeah, leverage. And this old guy will most definitely be him to the destination because he has leverage. That's how powerful leverage is. So you got to be creative. And there are, there are a lot of great books out about leverage. I've read a few of them. 
uh, I can't recall the names. It was so long ago. I need to reread them. Like some books I've read, but I need to reread them again to really, 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 really get it to sink in because I'm getting a little old and I'm not retaining like I used to, so I need to start taking some stuff, some supplements or whatever. So, okay, leverage. Now, what else about leverage? This should be pretty much all there is about leverage. Now, the next the next one should be about, uh, what is the next module? The next module is Master Your Mind. In other words, we're going to show you, I'm going to show you what you need to do to exercise that muscle called your brain. Because it is a muscle, you can exercise it, you can make it stronger, you may, can make it more powerful. Then there are also some free tools out there to help you. And I'm going to introduce those free tools to you. So, I'll see you in the next module.